Hey there, I'm guessing you ran into a tutorial or a blog post that expected you to know what the author meant by now, head on over to the terminal. And you weren't quite sure what they meant. Uh, it's completely understandable if you're like, uh, the airport terminal? Look, terminal's an overloaded term, and that is known to make things unnecessarily challenging to learn. The terminal is an application on your computer that allows you to control things via text-based commands instead of the normal point-and-click ways that we're used to doing things. The terminal gives you VIP access to your computer. You can do the same sort of tasks that you were doing in your operating system, whichever one that might be, organizing files, launching applications, but it also opens up the possibilities to do so much more. Like text to speech. You've definitely seen the terminal in action. It plays a very important role in many movies, and it's often misconstrued as something only super hackers like Neo can use, but that's not the case. The terminal gives you access to everything that is happening behind the scenes. It puts you in the director's seat. You get to call the shots. And in fact, there are many tasks that you're going to need to do that can only be completed by sending in one of these commands. Now that is to say that there's no front-end graphical user interface equivalent. In fact, you'll use it sometimes to connect to a re remote computer that doesn't have a GUI at all. You'll only be able to communicate with it via the terminal. Now, as a web developer, you'll start your web servers from the command line. You'll often navigate your code base from there too, and your team will probably be using version control to work together. While there are visual applications for this, most folks prefer to use the command line application in the terminal. It's just quicker. Many tutorials will use the terminal to get you going. And it's much easier to share the specific commands instead of attaching screenshots of what might change. But here's the thing. Those specific commands depend on which shell is being run in your terminal. Control C, Control C. Huh? That means stop in the terminal. Cut. What? They don't know what the shell is yet. You can't just talk about that. Let's do another take with a little bit more context. Thanks. Oh, right. The concept of a terminal has been around since the 1950s, and they were actually physical devices that were at the terminal end of a cable connected to a mainframe. That's where the name comes from. These early terminals, they weren't actually computers. They had just enough memory to draw the text on the screen and send input from the keyboard. So, pedantically speaking, the terminal application on our computers is an emulator of one of these earlier devices. These devices were also called a console, and you'll also sometimes hear it called that. The terminal actually requires a shell, which is where you enter the commands. This is also referred to as a command line. There are various shells and great action. These commands might be a little different depending on where you need to enter them. Shells all have a little bit different syntax. And that is to say, the commands that you write here may be a little bit different. As a developer, my terminal is never far away. In fact, many code editors have them embedded. And that's because you use these to kick off your scripts. It's handy, it's quick, and you can even pop into your language's REPL, the read, eval, print, loop tool. All right, now that you know that I'm not asking you to head to the airport, I'd love it if you could head over to your terminal. Explore it a bit, don't be afraid. I've put some commands that I'd like you to use in the notes attached to this video. I hope you feel more comfortable and realize that you don't need to be a super hacker to get what you need done. If we've covered something in here that was unfamiliar to you, make sure to check the notes for more developer fundamentals and let us know if you can't find what you're looking for. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you real soon.